point in time. You gotta open your mind up right now. And you gotta be receptive to new ideas. But never forget where you came from. Understand that you're representing some extraordinary people from an extraordinary place. So no matter where you go, wear the Bronx on your chest. So they can know, yeah, I'm from the Bronx and I'm proud of where I'm from. I'm proud of the people that, that produce me. I'm proud of my environment. See, a lot of times, what we do, and this is what we mess up at, we abandoned us. We abandoned us, oh, let, let me tuck me in the closet so I can, no, no. Every room you walk into, you let them know, I'm gonna be me. You walk into the room and be, I don't care how big the room is, I don't care how much finances in the room, I don't care how much opportunity in the room, because let me tell you something. If you're meant to be there, you meant to be there. And you want to be there as you. You don't want to be there as no clone. You don't want to be there as nobody else. You know, you're not going as that. I'm going as a young kid that come from the Bronx. My mind is open and listen. If I'm giving a shot, I'm gonna take over the world. That's the mindset you gotta have. That's why the mirror game is very important. See, the most important, one of the most important people that you might know is the mirror. You know why the mirror is important? Because when you look in that mirror, you, you gotta see something extraordinary. Because what you see is what the world see. So you gotta make sure that when you're looking in that mirror, you identifying who you are and you defining yourself as next level. You top tier. Don't downplay yourself. Because if you downplay yourself, we can see it in your armor. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look. That's why the look is the hook. When you go somewhere, you make sure you're right. Whatever room you go into, this is who I am. Whoever I am, I'm gonna be that. But you ain't gonna be able to deny my energy. You ain't gonna be able to deny my education. You ain't gonna be able to deny the knowledge from the community that produced me. You ain't gonna deny that, cause I'm that. You gotta say that you that every day. Cause if you don't believe you that, next level ain't gonna believe you that. I don't care where you go at. See, the problem is this. A lot of times, that's why you gotta watch who in your huddle. You gotta watch who in your huddle. You ever see Tom Brady when he back up in his huddle? He got a mean huddle. You gotta design your huddle. Your huddle is the people that you allow to have access to your life. That's your huddle. My mom in the huddle. My brother in the huddle. You know, my, my, my teacher in the huddle. My best friend in the huddle. Make sure everybody in that huddle, they want you to win. They gonna give you all the ingredients to win. They are not gonna tell you you're right when you're wrong. They wanna check you. That's why you gotta have checkers in your life. Chess is cool, but you gotta have checkers in your life. People that's gonna check you. Now on this journey that y'all going through, the most important thing that y'all can do, y'all gotta, y'all. I don't, I don't know if it's creating a mass text, y'all gotta stay in communication with each other. Cause all of y'all, y'all gonna be educating each other about the new experiences y'all having. That's why y'all also gotta reach back to your family, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, your aunts, because a lot of them ain't never leave. That's the reality of it. Some of our people, they come from where they at, and they ain't never take the journey that y'all taking. So y'all gotta take them on the journey. Y'all also gotta educate them of the world that's out there that's waiting for you. Cause some of y'all, y'all gonna go, y'all gonna come back, and y'all gonna bring so much value to the Bronx, it's gonna be unimaginable. Cause what I see, I'm looking at owners of tomorrow. Now all of y'all got your ownership. Y'all already got your, listen, y'all, your name is already on ownership, only you can take it off. Y'all own tomorrow. Us, you know, us older people, we just, we just here, you know, we did what we had to do. We just here for y'all to grab information. That's why everywhere you go, when you run into somebody older, don't look at them like they old, they don't know what's going on. No, you better train them for some information. Because they already lived the life. But I need y'all to pay attention to something that's very important. <laughs> the most important thing in life is imagination. That's why you gotta be mindful of the people that you're around because your imagination will take you some extraordinary places. As you grow older, you become an adult, you live life, you have kids, you break heartbreak, lost a job, your imagination starts to deteriorate. That's why you gotta be mindful of, of who you listen to because this is what happened. Some people, who imagination was beat down and they don't think they can do it, you gotta be careful. And, I, and I'm talking to all the scholars in this room, be extremely careful. Don't you ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something based on their insecurities, fears, and shortcomings. Don't let them lean that on you. Don't let them, listen, the world is waiting for you. Ain't everything, I see astronauts in here, presidents in here. I see congressmen, I see police officers, I see doctors, I see CEOs, I see advisors to Google. That's what I see. 
But you got to see that every day you wake up. Because let me tell you something, waking up is the win. I don't care what you went through, tomorrow's going to be better than yesterday. When you wake up and you turn over, I don't know, some of y'all, you know, most of y'all, y'all grabbing y'all phone going to the gram first. But wherever y'all go to, that's y'all business. But when you wake up and you go grab that phone, you won. It's game time. It's game time. And I don't care how much money somebody got, the type of car they got, the type of, you know, whatever accolades they got socially. Ain't nobody better than you and you ain't better than nobody. Respect everybody. Because respect, respect, respect. And there's nothing like when you bring value. All of y'all scholars, I see nothing but value. In any room y'all walk in, y'all bring value. And if you don't bring value to value, you devalue value. So always step in and let them know, yeah, this is who I am. I'm bringing a value, and this is what I can add to this corporation. This is what I can add to this law firm. This is what I can add to, you know, whatever, White House, whatever. Know what you're bringing, and that's why you got to always do research on yourself. And always step out with your chest. Step out. And like I say, you can never abandon the place that produced you because you're not here. You know why you're here? You're here because you grew up in the Bronx, and it taught you some extraordinary things. You learn some extraordinary things. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give y'all props, but I'm going to give props to the, to the whole, I'm talking about the whole staff of Pharaohs. You know why? Because they put up with it. You know, I know y'all, I know a lot of y'all was kicking and yelling and screaming and all. Y'all, yeah, I know. A lot of y'all gave a lot of attitude and a lot of off energy, but they put up with it. And they, so, so make some noise for the staff. Make some noise for the staff. Now, y'all just prepare. This is just a pregame. You know that, right? This is the pregame. Y'all going to the big leagues now. And then once y'all go to the big leagues, y'all going to the next level. Because get used to wearing these uniforms. Get used to this, you know? Because you're looking at it right now, but before you know it, you're going to be, some of y'all going to be graduating, going to be a doctor, going to be, you know, getting a politics, going to be whatever you want to be, you know, psychologist. So before you know it, that time going to be like this. And you're gonna be doing this all over again. And, and know this, sometimes you might change majors, you might change things, it's cool. Don't put no pressure on yourself. It's cool if you don't know what you wanna be right now. You, don't, you got time. Don't let nobody try to define you and tell you what you wanna do based off of what they wanted to do and they ain't doing their life. <laughs> the scholars here, I'm looking at, listen, I'm looking at some extraordinary, some extraordinary individuals do you know what it takes? Because in the ghettos of America, man, we come from some extraordinary struggle. And when you walk out of that house and your parents go to work, or some of y'all parents, you know, some, some of y'all parents passed away. Some of y'all parents is in the penitentiary. Some of y'all parents just trying to figure it out on whatever. But for you to get up every day, walk out of that house, and go past all the distractions that you see, the homeboys on the corner, the people doing this, and to make it here every day and to get to this, this is groundbreaking. This is groundbreaking. Because y'all did that. Y'all did that. Now you want to take that same knowledge, that same passion, that same dedication, that same ingenuity, and y'all want to do it. As y'all go to meet y'all new dorm, you know, roommates and all that stuff and meet new people, just be open to other people's ideas because everybody ain't grew up in the Bronx. Some people might have grew up, you know, more fortunate or whatever. Learn, be exposed. A lot of times what happened to us in the ghetto, why a lot of us can't rise, because we don't be exposed to the next level. We think where we come from, you know, that's the only place. No, the Bronx is a beautiful place, but it's one little small little dot in the world. The world is your playground. Go out there and play. Don't be sitting around. Play. When you go meet friends that y'all at university and y'all going, go, you know, sometimes they might come to your city because I know they want to know about the Bronx. You're going to bring them to the Bronx. Go to their city. See what's going on. And educate your people about that. But I'm going to tell you something that's very important. I know what I see. Doctors, lawyers, presidents. Extraordinary individuals. But it's all about what you see. And if you can see it, you can be it. Find mentors. Find people you can talk to. Because if you can find somebody you can talk to, it can help you grow in so many ways. And please, 
stay in strong contact with each other, and stay in contact with your parents. Now listen, I got a daughter, she go to Lincoln University. Now, this, I'm, 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 I am I gotta, let me straighten all y'all scholars out right now. Cause for, for some reason, parents, when they get to college, they gotta, you know, they always call for some oodles and noodles and stuff like that. They always call, make sure you call your mom to check up on your mom and your dad too. I know it get real pricey in college. Y'all need that food, y'all need all your snacks and all that stuff. You gotta do this, you do that. You gotta give them, you know, the card. I mean, you don't have the card and you're working. You gotta put that card on my Uber Eats and all that. Call them to check up on them too. But I just wanna let you know, and, and I wanna say something about something. Something that happened earlier today before y'all came in here. I was upstairs and I was talking to uh, Dr. Brown. And I just wanna salute you, uh, Dr. Brown, because of this. When you was talking about your seniors, when you was talking about the class of uh, 2022, we was upstairs, you were so emotional. And you know, your eyes got watery, you were so hyped, you was like, that passion that you got, you bring into this facility, is groundbreaking, brother, and I just want to salute you. Because you, you, uh, you real, you real hype and passionate about, you know, and it's like, you don't see that, man, but uh, I just really respect that you uh, put it down and, and you know, and these kids got a strong supporting cast and all the staff members here that I met. And I want you, you know, I want the kids to stay, y'all stay connected to this facility, man. Sometimes y'all come, y'all get back. Y'all help, because that's how communities grow. Because y'all gonna go out and learn so much that y'all gonna bring back and y'all can empower this neighborhood and this community, man. And that's the responsibility that you have to educate people that's not gonna be going to places that y'all going. But I just wanna let y'all know, I'm thankful to be here. Um, I'm proud of you all. Um, I'm thankful to all the family members that put up with it, you know, and push y'all through. But I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna, and I gotta say this again. The world is your playground. Go out there and play. I appreciate y'all. Come on, clap it up one time. Follow two, six, seven. One thing he didn't say is when you bring your, your, your college mates to the Bronx, make sure they go get a chopped cheese and a bacon egg. <laughs>